Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do uh, my makeup. I'm going to my friend Bridget's house. She is going to show her new art before she takes everything down to Myrtle Beach. She sells it in um, a restaurant down there called the Collectors. I think it's the Collectors Gallery. But um, so here, what I'm doing is what I like to do when I you know, and wearing something like this, which is most days. Um, I just have on one of my Zara dresses, the basics dresses, and I'm just putting the Largeller Body Bronze. It is just the perfect product, and it just makes you look so much better. I mean, I really, if you don't like tanners, this is just so perfect because it gives you color, but not too much. And it gives you a little bit of a sheen, but not really a sparkle. And um, so I'm just doing my entire chest. I could see that that looked kind of white right there because I wore a straight across bathing suit last year. But um, okay, here is something new that I am going to try today. And it is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. A lot of people use this for primer. And... Um, so I am using it and thank you for all your suggestions on exfoliators. I ended up talking to Tammy. I bugged the fool out of her until I got to talk to her um, late that night, Friday night. And she used the perfect word to describe what I meant about my skin. When I said it wasn't really flaky, she said it's lacy. And that's exactly what it was. It's like a lacy layer of skin that's not flicked up. It's not something you can see how to get off. It's just like you can tell your skin is separating, but it won't come off. And um, so I bought several products and I'm going to try them and then do a review. So thank you for all your suggestions. Okay, here I'm using a Real Techniques sponge. Um, I bought a couple of these the other day. My mom wanted another one, so I just bought a two pack and um, gave her one and I decided to try one again. And this is actually a new foundation. I've, I've got it in the color 6, but this is the Armani 5.5. And the 6 is just a little too olive tone, I think, for me. So I wanted to try this, and you can see it is a perfect match. I mean, you can see how it barely differs from my skin tone at all. I really liked it. And so now I'm using the Smashbox brush. Um, it's that light sheer powder brush and I'm using the Laura Mercier Classic Beige just to kind of set it and give a little bit more dimension and um, because that brush is so fluffy it doesn't you know doesn't stick to that foundation or doesn't interrupt it or anything. It's a good brush. Okay and then today for something different I'm using another favorite and it's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Bronze and Glow and this is a wonderful product. And right about now, I am deciding that I want to do kind of like a glam look, but one that I like to do when I'm going somewhere in the day that I want to look good, but I don't want to look over the top. I didn't know who was going to be here at this um, event. She said that some friends were stopping by. And um, so I'm doing kind of like my worn in glam look, which means that it's You'll see it's kind of like just worn in looking. It's like it's like you've had this makeup on for a while and it's just not over the top, but yet it's my look. And so this bronze and glow is perfect because the glow part is not quite as white as the Laura Mercier matte highlight, but it still gives that look. Okay, this is one of my favorite brushes and it's the Chanel Angled Brush. And anytime I want to put something over my whole entire cheek, I love this brush. And this is a new blush that I'm using. Um, Natty Flower Bomb uh, recommended it, and I love it. It is it's so good for this look. It's the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronze Brush in Plum Rose, I believe. I'll put it down below, but I loved it. Okay, and be patient with me. I know that my camera was like cutting off half my face here. I'm really going to work on, um, what happens is I, I move my camera to load my video, then I put it back and I'm moving the tripod. I need to get a permanent place to put the tripod. 
but um okay so there you see I just cleaned out my brows of the powder and stuff and then I used the Anastasia taupe brow powder and did a little bit of a lighter brow because when I use that Bobbi Brown it is more of a defined brow than a powder and because I want this to be kind of lived in worn in looking I didn't want to use anything that was too you know out there okay so what am I using now oh yes oh this is perfect this is the I use the Urban Decay Minor Sin lid primer and I'm using the Tom Ford blending brush with the Bare Minerals Pebble Loose Matte Powder. And it is the perfect look. See how it gives you just the, almost just a shadow eyeshadow. It, it's almost like no eyeshadow eyeshadow. It just gives you that perfect crease, perfect definition without screaming, I have eyeshadow on. And, um... So then I used a little bit of a denser brush and kind of defined the outer corner. And then I wanted to put a little something else in for highlight without being too over the top. So I used MAC Grain. That is a wonderful shadow to have. Excuse that beeping. That is my dishwasher. I hate that thing. I thought I keep, John supposedly turned it off, but it's like the beeper always comes back, the buzzer. Okay, <laughs> mini rant. This is a liner that I love, and I always forget about it. It is the L'Oreal Coal Liner, and it's perfect because it's long, and you can do that wing and then smudge it out. I think I'm going to use that again today. I just love that liner. I bought the brown one and the gray one, and I'm just not as crazy about those. It's just the good old black. So, I mean, this is just... This is one of my favorite looks. It's just this look. The taupey eyeshadow, the black smudgy liner, and the lip on this look is another one that I got from Flower Bomb, and I just love it. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. And um, hang in till the end of this video because I did show some of Bridget's art when I went there. So now I'm just smudging out a little on the bottom. I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Wiz clear brow gel on the top again it's a little bit of a lighter product than the benefit and it doesn't it just makes the brows a little more subtle okay I'm noticing that my right brow as usual is a little bit more arched than my left so this Laura Mercier brow pencil is a good one for just fixing that arch it's ash blonde Okay, another product that I really love is this new Bare Minerals Concealer Stick. This is the, um, it's the more yellow out of the two that I have. Um, I'll put the exact name of it down below, but um, I just love it. And you just don't have to set it or anything. It's just such a great product. And um, so I'm putting a little bit beside my nose and it even... After you put it on, it even melts into your skin a little bit more. It is just really a phenomenal product. If you ever wanted to try that clay de peau, this is very similar, I think. And it's similar to the hourglass one I used to use, too. It's just really nice. And um, now I'm just putting on a pair of Red Cherry 43 lashes. They are a little bit extreme, but I don't put mascara on them. So they're perfect for this look. Okay, now I'm using the Lancome Ideal Lip Liner, my all-time favorite lip liner, and I'm just lining the outside of my lips, but I don't want it to be too lined looking, so I went and got just a thin piece of toilet paper and kind of blotted them, and then this is the um, lip product that I just am loving. I mean, I love it. I've worn it like two or three days in a row now. It's um, Tope It Off by Bare Minerals. It's one of those lip gloss stain type things from, it's their new collection. And um, I had curled my hair just like always, but I'm using a new mousse that I ordered on a whim from Amazon. It's the L Net Mousse, and boy, it gives the best hold and body. There it is, I'm showing you, and I'll list it down below, but I love it. And then I'm using the KMS hairspray, which I'm not sure where you can buy this anymore because Ulta has stopped carrying it. So I stocked up 
um, so I'll be using it for a while. Um, I'll try to find a good place. And that was it. So that Okay, we are recording. Oh, that's the one I love. Isn't that the one I said I like, the Beverly Hills? Yes, I've got a couple of Beverly Hills. Okay. I love it. And that's, that's New York. That's our Center. Yes. And Christmas. Saks. The windows at Saks. Oh, I think goodness. that blonde right oh, there is perfect yes. for you. I thought about you with that one. Yeah, we might have to set that one aside. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And that's in Orange County. That's a vintage store in Laguna Beach. And that's actually, you can see the reflection of the palm trees in Bono. Okay. That one right there. I'm not getting it. I think the lighting is bad for okay. me there. Yeah, but these are doing really good. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, I love that red on that one. Who, what is that? That's Ryan Adams, a musician. I was at his concert and I took that photo. Oh, my love goodness. I love that. What love a great that. pop of color for somebody's. Yeah, his <sighs> lighting was incredible. Oh, my goodness. Here's the Wrightsville Beach Way that I zoomed in on. Yes, I've got that one. Yeah. I'm going to put it in John's study when we redo it. Okay. Bergdorf's at Christmas. Bergdorf at Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And that's at New Orleans? That's New Orleans. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, look at Sunset that. Sunset Boulevard. Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. So that is the um, billboard, billboard. Sunset Boulevard, right at Sunset Plaza. Mm -hmm. And that is one of my favorites. That's Victoria's Secret. Um, that's actually the wings from the Victoria's yes. Secret show. And they had them on display on Fifth Avenue in the Victoria's Secret store. But the reflection is St. Patrick's Cathedral yes. and the bus and all of that. I love that. Let me get another shot of that one. And then, There's uh, the Carlisle Hotel. Love oh, with the Christmas. with the flags. I love that Chateau Marmont too. Oh yeah! Oh yes! I love that one. I've yeah. Had, yeah, I have thought about that one a lot. I like that one a lot. That's gorgeous. Let me get a good. You're my knees crack. For me too. <laughs> they've, been, they've been doing that for so long. I don't even. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And then the Louis Vuitton. Nars. And there's one, I've got this one. Yeah, you love that one. Love yes. That one too. Lentiaga. And oh, there's the black and white Beverly Hills. Oh, so Beverly Hills Hotel, black and white. Oh, goodness. So pretty. Oh, look at this. Is that Wonder, Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. That's <gasps> Boulevard, too. Yes. Classic. And then there's one right there at Wrightsville Beach, one early morning. morning yes. That's so good. I think these are so good. Like if somebody was redoing like a um, a boys' room, uh -huh. you know, Starfire, something cool, young, you know, yeah, and put some real art in there. That's everything right now.